Hello, Geminis. This is you versus them for the 14th through the 20th. It's for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. If you guys are new to the channel, welcome. Please hit the like button, share the video, subscribe to the channel. If you're interested in a personal, that information is down below the video, okay? Here we go. What are your past issues? This person worries you a lot. <laughs> I, I kind of get the sense that... Um, you know, they confused you. They really just kind of got on your nerves. It was like, no matter which way you turned or what you did, it feels like it was never enough. Like, they were really hard to please here. Hmm. Let's see what their past issues were. Basically the same. Sheesh. Maybe both of you guys have um, air in your chart. Of course, you're Gemini, so you do. But um, maybe your person does as well. But they feel like, you know, there was a lot that you did to hurt them. Like you weren't mindful of their feelings even. Maybe you were hurtful with your words with them. They feel like you betrayed them. Um, I get the feeling that they feel like you probably cheated on them too. Let's see what's keeping you guys apart. The truth. The truth. Um, I get the feeling that there was a lot of ambiguity in your relationship. Maybe they felt like you kept a lot from them. And I feel like you're a little regretful about that right now. I'm just getting that because I think you know that you held back a lot. Okay. Let's see what's keeping them from you. Hmm. They just want to move on. They just want to leave behind all of the hurt that they felt. They don't even want to think about it anymore. They just want to leave it alone. Lots of air here. A lot of thinking going on. Just trying to put it to bed, I feel. Let's see what the current situation is for you guys. I think you've realized a lot of things about um, this connection, hindsight, I feel. I really do. I think you're just trying to um, be happy, be confident in yourself, be self-aware. Uh, just be mindful of the things that, um, that you do and mindful of the things that other people do as well. Uh, you're just kind of like, I think you're just wide open like right now, you know like you don't miss anything <laughs> so yeah very observant i feel let's see what's currently going on for them hmm i think they're still holding on um to this relationship even though they just want to let it go i think they are holding on it's like they are in two minds almost where they still think about the relationship but they don't want to is what i'm getting they don't want to. Um, they're, they're really trying to keep their feelings close to their chest is what I'm getting here, okay? <coughs> Excuse me. Let's see what the influence is for you guys. Hmm. I think you guys want to... There, there's something that you have your eye on right now that you want to do you're eager to do it you're excited about it there's something hmm let's see where this goes let's see what their influence is Ooh. hmm <laughs> the devil. You know, I get the feeling that this person that you're dealing with, my Gemini friends, this Capricorn energy. Um, I think they're hiding 
behind something and that something is possibly like drinking or something is something because um, when I look at this four of Pentacles I don't know if you guys can see this but it almost looks like this dude has like is that out of focus has like a five o'clock shadow here like you know they're kind of neglecting themselves and you know it, it just looks like somebody that is um you know just really not taking very good care of themselves right now and i think that they they are really trying not to look at themselves here is what i'm getting they're not trying to face what they actually have done or what they have contributed to the you know the breakup here let's see if i can move that up some guys they're not trying to face their demons. But I tell you what, I feel like it's coming because they want to just not deal with this, but they're headed right to face their fears, to face their demons. They can't hide behind um, any vices that they may be trying to hide behind right now much longer. Let's see what's coming. My deck's upside down. Hmm. You're going to get exactly what you deserve, I feel. Um, I think that if you're looking for somebody that treats you the way that you treat them, I think that's what you are, um, I think that's what you're going to get. I think if you are looking to spend your time like helping people, um, I think that's what you're, you're going to do. If that's what makes you feel good, if that what, that's what makes your heart saying you know I think that's coming for you I think you're also realizing that you know in order to have a um, successful relationship that you also have to be willing to give as much as the other person and vice versa you you're you're realizing here with this son you know what it takes to um have a successful connection here with someone let's see what's coming from the other person i feel like this person's struggling ten of pentacles here i'm getting the feeling that this person what they're what they're hiding behind is they're probably like diving into work and then after they can't work anymore, after they leave their two jobs, then they're probably going drinking or something like that. It's like they're doing everything they can to avoid themselves here. Okay? That's what I'm getting. Let's see what the blockage is for you guys. Hmm. Blockage is a ten of wands for you. This is feeling like way down burden like you know you're trying to carry all the weight on your shoulders and i think that's what you're doing sometimes you have to let somebody else carry some you know you can't do everything you can't be everyone and you can't be everywhere um you have to kind of delegate sometimes but i think that you know you just i think you are a very giving person and I think you give way more than you receive. So, you know, it's time to share the burden here. Don't try to carry it all. All right. So let's see what the blockage is for them. They are very guarded. They don't know which way to go. They don't know what to do. They don't know what to think. It's like they, they are very indecisive with everything in their life other than working and not want to think about this. They have blinders on. They have blinders on and they don't they don't want to look at themselves. They don't want to face themselves right here, okay? What is the advice for my Gemini's? King of Swords. Hmm. I feel like because you see the King of Swords, you know, King of Swords is an, is an orator, you know. So when I was saying before that the block is that you try to carry everything yourself, you try to do everything yourself, 
Get somebody else to do something. Delegate. Okay? You don't always have to be the knight doing everything, carrying everything. Because you guys are great speakers. Um, I think you're great leaders. Let's lead some. Let's lead some. Let's let's lead some of the other work to other people. You know, you take some, they take some, and then somebody else gets some, okay? Um, just to kind of chill out for a little bit, I feel. Just chill out for a little bit. Um, take time out for yourself. Take a chill pill. Let's see what the advice is for them. I think they need healing for sure. Definitely. They need balance in their life. They need harmony. They need, they need to realize that there is something that is bigger than them. Okay? There is a force that's bigger than them. They need healing. And I also feel like, you know, this is also wish fulfillment. So I feel like this person really, they really feel like, you know, you are the one deep down inside though, deep down inside because, you know, they're still fighting with this. They're fighting with themselves even. So they cannot be for you what you need them to be until they really address who they are and balance out you know their shadow side with their light side you know what i'm saying because we all have it we all have it but they haven't come to grips with you know who they are let's see what the outcome is here look at that the three of swords hmm <laughs> Three of Swords, my Geminis, I think you guys are really disappointed. You're going to be really disappointed, even for some of you, if you are still with this person, but I don't feel like for most of you that you are. Um, but if you are with this person currently, this could end up as a great disappointment for you and in a breakup okay because um maybe you know this person is just not willing to bend they're not willing to um they're not willing to share this burden with you they're not willing to have this equal exchange with you uh they just want to hold everything to themselves um, not face the fact that because they have their back turned to this ten of pentacles not face the fact that yeah you were where it's at I mean yeah they not want to face themselves here they're they're like almost delusional I don't want to say del delusional but it's kind of like that though it's like they don't want to it's hard to look at yourself when um, I mean, to see the things that are not so good about yourself. Okay. I'll pull another card here for this Three of Swords. Yeah. I think it could be a fire sign here for sure. Or it could be that, you know, this person's very cocky. This person is very cocky, I feel. I feel like they know exactly like how they feel about you and what they want, but they're not going to budge. They would rather be broken hearted. They would rather you leave them or them leave than to face themselves here, okay? So that is what I have for my Gemini friends. Good luck, guys, and I will talk with you soon. Bye now.